Hi. So in this video, we are going to discuss the divisibility rules of 5. I know it's very easy and the rule is also very easy and it's very easy to identify if a number is divisible by 5 or not. So any number which has 0 or 5 at its units place is divisible by 5. So suppose if I write a number 10, it is divisible by 5, 5 to the 10. And but if I write 13, as per this rule, this will not be divisible by 5, right? Let's divide it. 13 divide, divided by 5, 5 to the 10. If we subtract, we are going to get 3 as remainder, right? So 13 is not divisible by 5, right? And if I write something like 5,435, this also has 5 at units place, so it will be divisible by 5. And if you want, we can divide and check it. So let's do that. So 5, 4, 3, 5. When I divide it by 5, 5 ones are 5. Remainder is 0. Let's note down the 4. 4 is not divisible by 5, so I'll put a 0 and note down the next number. So 3, 5, 8 are 40. And if I subtract, I'll get 3. And let me note down 5 again. It's 5, 5, 7 are 35. No remainder, right? So it is divisible by 5. So the logic behind this divisibility rule is if I write down the table of 5, it is 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10, 5 threes are 15, 5 fours are 20, 5 fives are 25, 5 six are 30, 5 sevens are 35, 5 eights are 40, 5 nines are 45, and 50. See, all these numbers have either 5 or 0 at units place. Right? So any number which is coming in the table of 5 will have either 0 at the unit place or it will have 5 at the units place. So I think this divisibility rule is very simple and all of you are very smart to understand it. But watch few more divisibility rules. I am explaining the divisibility rule of 7, 11, 13, 9 and 6 also. So watch videos on divisibility at MathSmart.